Hi, I'm Alex Roten, and today I'm going to be talking about nature's effect on mental health. Mental health is becoming more of a popular topic, in my opinion, for the better, and with that comes the discussion on how to treat mental illnesses. I believe that there isn't one specific way to treat mental illnesses because we live in a world with vastly different people and subsequently vastly different brains. Um, one, while one person might do fine with traditional therapy and medication, uh, that might not work or even worsen the symptoms of another person. When that happens, one possible solution is nature therapy, sometimes known as wilderness therapy or forest bathing, which involves spending constructive time in nature. Now, this is not a new phenomenon. Using nature as medicine dates all the way back to before biblical times, but was especially popular in the Romantic era. Artists like Caspar David Friedrich, uh, in his painting Wander Above the Sea of Fog, predicts or depicts a sense of calm, peaceful meditation out on or out in nature. Another figure from the ro Romantic era, Ralph Waldo Emerson, wrote an entire piece called Nature about the idea that nature can give us clarity and enlightenment more than anywhere else. Although the Romantic the Romantic era didn't get everything right, uh, it, and even started a few harmful mentalities about stigmas and whatnot around mental health, the era brought mental health into the picture and created a safe place for its discussion. Nowadays, mental health is a widely discussed issue, but the research behind alternative methods of treatment for patients who might not respond tradi to traditional methods is a little bit scarce. So symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD, for example, uh, can often be worsened through medication and therapy because of it, the complexities that go along with the disorder. This is where nature comes into play. Nature therapy uh, allows for a patient to get out of their mind and uh, to take control of their lives in a natural setting. With PTSD, it's often triggered by a situation which the survivor had little to no control over their bodies or the situation. And so being out in nature allows them to take their life into their own hands and, uh, and not be so helpless. Nature therapy also provides a sort of distraction for the patient and might be helpful with opening up on what they're dealing with. If the patient is surrounded by new sights and sounds and smells, they might be able to talk about their problems uh, without focusing entirely on them. Nature also has the ability to actually change our cognitive processes and allows us to have better decision-making skills uh, and level-headedness in difficult situations. So recently I was stranded in the middle of southern Utah at about 10.30 at night because I had lost the keys to my car and when I found a spare key, my car wouldn't start. So fortunately, I had cell phone service and was able to call AAA to come get me. But while I was waiting in the pitch black dark of the night, I was surprised to see that I felt totally and completely at peace. I could look up and see millions of stars above me and I could breathe in and smell the crisp air. And something about those external stimuli made it possible for me to keep calm and think through the situation properly. Nature therapy may not be for everyone, but research has shown that it is effective for some, and I think that's worth researching further.